breast part and push in. And we're just going to start filling in. Ooh. Did you see that? With our butter. It's not bleeding, I promise. It's just a paprika butter. I'm going to go right into my flour mixture. So I'm going to push in. And then also I'm going to start grabbing the flour and then push over the top. For me, it's very, very important that you're going to have the flour on every part of the chicken. And then you're just going to turn over to make every make sure everything is coated thoroughly. We'll turn over once, and then we're going to go right back to the top. Now from here, seeing that everything is coated, we need some eggs, right? So this is actually going to break the eggs when you push it in. And so this is going to help marinate a little bit with the fat. So we're just going to turn it in the egg yolks. From here, we're going to lift right up and go right into our breadcrumbs. And we're just going to finish off with my breading. For me, I love garlic with chicken. I'm going to show you a hack of how you can make roasted garlic and cooking at the same time. So I'm going to take my garlic cloves and then I'm just going to now pour into the cavity. And you want a lot. I'm just going to push in to make sure everything's stacked. And now it's time to shut her up, aka close her up. All right, so once I now close this, I'm gonna use a little clothing iron. And I'm just gonna go right through to now hold on to our little twine here. So I'm gonna change this, and the reason being is that I did not just do one chicken, I did two chickens. And why is that? Well, we're gonna go into the hot oil. We're gonna go very slowly, again, 365 degrees. And we're just gonna be going in fry time. And so we have the garlic in, you're gonna let go here. Use this one to let go there as well, and just let them fry. All right, so coming back to the chicken, you're gonna be cooking this, I'm gonna cook this for about 12 minutes, but it's deep frying, so we're just gonna lift this up really slightly. Oh, this is after the 12 minutes. You can tell that we've already, now when you start taking these out, oh, beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna get a plaque really quick. All right, so now I'm gonna take out my chickens. Whoa. Oh man, look at that. Beautifully golden brown. I'm gonna put that here, let that set. Absolutely glorious. Also gonna take our clothes hanger out. Now I'm gonna use just a towel to go around. The reason being is that we have that garlic in. So you're gonna take your chicken and I'm gonna go in, you can go into a bowl if you're at the house. And so we're just gonna do a little bit of a shaking and try to get a lot of the garlic out. Now from here, simple. I'm just using this to now crush into it. You can hear it and you can also see the little bit of oil. And so we're gonna be making some garlic mashed potatoes now with this garlic that I now roasted on the inside. Once I have my garlic all mashed up, roasted garlic by the way, you're gonna take a big spoon just like this and I'm just gonna push it in to my already finished prepared mashed potatoes. And so I'm just gonna mix this all. Once we have this mixed up, I'm gonna now come right over to my oil. You need some scissors. Now just follow me here. I'm gonna squirt out a little bit right above the oil and you're just gonna cut it off. It's gonna fall down and then start floating up. So you're gonna do this a lot. For me, chicken, potatoes, nothing's better. But of course, I got something else up my sleeve. Once we have everything out, I'm gonna use this big spider. So you're just gonna move these around. And so this is how you make a little bit of a different form of tater tots. So I'm gonna lift this up. So you're gonna continue cooking. I'm gonna continue cooking them until they're golden brown. So it's about four or five minutes for these. And then I'll be ready to head out to that next step. Once our tater tots are golden brown, gonna do a little drizzle off. I'm gonna go right into a fry basket. I already have a few paper towels. Oh, they look absolutely amazing. For myself, this will be my last big scoop. And of course, just like anything that you fry, you gotta add a little bit of salt. So just one thing of salt right over, because everything needs salt coming out of hot oil. And now I'm on to some jalapenos. How do you add a little spiciness in your life? With jalapenos, of course. I'm gonna push in my jalapenos that I've already taken out the center into butter. Now, if you keep following me, I'm gonna add in cream cheese with caramelized onion mixture for our jalapeno poppers. I'm fixing to blow your mind with this one. I'm gonna take this out. Now the trick is, is that usually we're gonna do this with bacon but I'm actually gonna do it with chicken skin. Roll up, and I'm gonna show you this. And then we're just gonna place this right on to our baking sheet. Just gonna continue pulling out. It's kinda like jalapeno in the stone. 
chicken skins, jalapenos, cream cheese. It's a great combination. I'm gonna finish off on the last one here. And this is all you need because this is gonna be quite enough for each. Now once I place all three on, I'm gonna add a few more in just a little bit, but these are gonna go directly into the oven, 350 degrees, and we're gonna cook that for 45 minutes. Final presentation that I have for you guys. Have the bird, I have the tater tots, I'm gonna do a little bit of greenery right on top. And why is that? It's just kind of having a little bit of effect with the brown. I'm getting really amazed by how beautiful the uh, jalapeno poppers look. And there you have it, another great recipe here in the Chef Club kitchen. One last one in there, get them pressed in, make sure they turn. And now we move on this way. Got a little olive oil here. We're gonna go ahead and just go like that. Just a tiny bit. Like this, all the way around. It's looking amazing. We have some red onions on the bottom. A little salt and pepper. Our beautiful, beautiful chicken. That we're gonna go ahead and place like this. Half an onion. We have some carrots, just like that. And we have this last one. We're not gonna leave it behind. Nice. A little rosemary, just tuck it in. Beautiful. And we're gonna finish it off with some of this beautiful, gorgeous, smelling orange crust salt. That we blend it together. And we move on to the next step this way. We grab our potatoes with our beautiful baby potatoes. Guys, check these out. In a smooth motion, we're gonna go like this. Why are we doing this? Because we're about to put some flavors in here. Oh my lord. Just like that. And we come back this way. Nice and simple. Give us a nice little diamond pattern. Beautiful. Now what do we do next? Check it out. Slide the bacon in, just like that. Grab our potatoes back. We place them in their spot. And what's next? Check it out. Give it a roll, bring that in, bring that in. Grab it. Easy. Same thing here, roll. and flip. Oh boy. Just like that. Just like that. And we wrap it up. Just like that. Come down here and slide it off. Take one of these. And we plug it. And we're going to plug in the flavor. Plug in the beauty. Just like that. And check this out y'all. Now we're going to put them all in here like that and the juice is flowing from this chicken it's gonna make these potatoes the best in the world and off to the oven it's set at 350 degrees fahrenheit and we're gonna put this baby in for one and a half hours we'll be right back to pick it up whoa baby look at that look at the bubbles on that butter and now we're gonna come out and crack that salt Smells like heaven. Go this way. And voila. Beautiful. Now we're gonna grab our potatoes here and place them all around. Just like that. Now all we gotta do is enjoy. Guys, you can find recipes like this at chefclub.tv look at that juiciness oh my lord baby let's take a piece of that whoa look at that let's get some of this butter baby mm. remove large strips of the corn uh, it doesn't really work so well with raw corn which is why we've already steamed this to have it nice and tender and so it'll stay together and give us these nice long strips. Now, I have this torch and I'm gonna go through and char the tops of our corn.
That'll give us a nice roasted flavor. And then we have some paprika that we're gonna add to the top for some color and a little flavor. And then we've got our chicken, so we'll move on to our next step. I'm just gonna place our chicken right here for a moment. And we have a bundt pan that I'm gonna add some chopped celery to, some chopped onion, some chopped carrots, and then I have a mixture of chicken broth and cream of mushroom soup that we're gonna add into the bundt pan as well. Get all those good bits. We're gonna take our chicken and place it on the center piece of our bundt pan so that it sort of acts as a stand. And then we're gonna pull the skin sort of up and away from the breast part there so that we have a little pocket. And then I'm gonna add some butter in there, push it down in there as best we can. We have some ranch seasoning that we're gonna add into this little pocket as well. I have some fresh chopped thyme and parsley. Just get that in there. Just sort of close this little top part up and we'll sort of rub the herbs and the butter in to the chicken. And as this cooks, it's gonna melt and distribute more evenly over the chicken. Now we have some melted butter that we're gonna pour over the chicken's skin. This is gonna give it a nice golden look as well as a nice crispy texture. Now I'm gonna transfer this over to baking sheet so that we can safely transport it to our oven, which we have preheated at 425. And we're going to cook this for an initial 40 minutes before moving on to that. So our chicken's been baking for about 40 minutes. So we're gonna carefully remove it from the oven. And we're gonna transfer this over to a cutting board so that we can add in our dumplings. So I have a piping bag full of a cornbread dumpling mixture, which you can find at chefclub.tv. And we'll just turn this and pipe in our dumplings. And as they cook, they're gonna take on a different shape. All right, now that we have those in there, we're gonna return this to the oven for about 20 more minutes. So our chicken and dumplings are ready. So I'm gonna remove this from the oven carefully. We'll bring it over here to our cutting board. And then I'm gonna just slice down a piece of this breast part right here. All right, so we'll add this nice crispy piece right here on top. And we have our charred corn <coughs> that we'll add to the top here, some fresh parsley, and since we seasoned our chicken with ranch, feel free to add some ranch sauce on the side. You can find this recipe at chefclub.tv.